Right, what's going on, friends? So, as you can tell, by the like we, we got an unusual setup, right? What is going on here, right? What we're doing right here is we're about to do the best damn bodyweight exercise, best damn hamstring bodyweight exercise there is, right? Which, again, you can complete at home, right? With the right setup, which I'll go through in just a moment. Um, and basically, like I said, this exercise is really going to seriously challenge your hamstrings in a way in which, like, you probably haven't even tried before, right? And this exercise is called the Bodyweight Nordic Curl. All right, now the Bodyweight Nordic Curl is a fantastic way to, you know, build muscle and strength and also, you know, injury-proof the hamstrings, right, for any type of athlete, a calisthenics athlete, a weightlifting athlete, or even a professional sports athlete, right? Again, the, this exercise, it's like, it is absolutely amazing for what it provides, regardless of what you may be doing, right? So basically, if your goal is to get stronger hamstrings, like, look no further than the Nordic curl, right? So, like I said, ideally, obviously, if you do have access to a gym, then obviously it'll be much easier to do it on like a glute ham type of raised machine. But obviously, if you're at home right now, during lockdown and quarantine, obviously we got to improvise, right? So again, you wanna look for anything with the setup to anchor your ankles, right, under, or simply anchor your toes under, right? So again, you look at my setup right now, obviously right now I've got my bench, I've got some shoes on, and I've got a ton of weight on top of the bench to keep the bench stable, right, when I actually do this exercise. Right, you can also do it, you can anchor your ankles or again your toes under a bed, sofa, a chair, or if you literally have got nowhere to look, right, look underneath your car, anchor your feet or your toes under your car, like you'll get sorted, right? That's like the last resort. If you can't find anywhere, not even like underneath a cabinet, right, or a drawer, you can do it by your car, right? Again, be safe. With this exercise, obviously make sure where you're doing it is like strong and stable in order to actually do the exercise properly, right? So with this exercise, right, there's two types of variations we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the easier one first, then the harder one, right? Now the first one is simply like a hip hinge, more of like a glute ham raise, right? It's more of a glute ham raise, if you see what I mean. So I said, again, start position, glutes engaged. And here, I'm suddenly gonna lean forward until my nose touch the ground, pull up again. Again, you always want to make sure you're flexing at the knee. The hamstring is basically the leg equivalent of like the bicep for the upper body. All right, so again, you want to make sure that you're flexing at the knee. All right, you don't want to, you know, lower down and just like press back up here with the quads or just sink down. You want to make sure you're literally just like working at the knee and flexing at the knee, the same as you would with a bicep, right? You only hinge at the elbow, the same as like with this exercise, we only hinge at the knee, right? So we maximize the contraction and the stimulus in the hamstrings, right? So the less we lean forward, as so, the easier it's gonna be. Whereas to make the exercise harder, we can simply lean further forward, as so, to increase range of motion in the lever, so it's more intense for the hamstrings, all right? Now, obviously, if you are doing this like at home, obviously it's gonna be harder doing this, right? Because you don't have as much support compared to if you're actually doing it on like a lap pull down machine or like a glute hammer raise machine in the gym. But it's like anything, you gotta improvise, right? Pivot, adapt, adjust, repeat, right? PAA, as I said in previous videos. Now, the hardest variation we wanna do and work towards is basically a four range of motion with a slight assistance up because the hardest progression is basically going down and coming all the way up without any hand assistance. But like, for me at least, like, I'm still quite away from that. Like, there's very few people I've seen being able to do it. I think Daniel Vadnall from Fitness FAQs is one of the very few people I've actually been able to see do it with like very clean form. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate the one with hand assistance. So from here, we're basically gonna lower all the way down with control, slow, slow, catch yourself. So bottom range of motion, your hips and your knees are extended and straight. And you're gonna push back up and use as little assistance as possible. You don't wanna just push up with the hands, like because again, you're barely gonna be working hamstrings. You wanna lower down as slow as you can to eccentric, because that's how you're gonna get strong with the hamstrings and only push up as needed. Again, use less assistance to get stronger and you can make it as tense, intense as you want, right? You can make this very, very challenging by using less and less assistance, right? And you can actually feel just by doing this, as it's more of like a strength-based exercise, right? Like, <laughs> you're not gonna need many repetitions for this to really, you know, create sufficient stimulus for the hamstrings. And again, especially with this, you really wanna overload the exercise 
by the eccentric, the lowering down, right? Brace that eccentric, get stronger by lowering down slower and slower. Catch yourself and then back up. Repeat that for repetitions and you're pretty much good to go. And also the last point I would wanna mention with this, obviously not only make sure you've got a solid setup as I've already mentioned, but you gotta make sure you've got a solid place to do this, right? Obviously, as you can see here in my garage, Pretty hard surface, so obviously I've got a mat here. Honestly, even with this, I can kind of feel it in my knees a bit, so if I was to actually do this in a workout, um, I would probably get an extra layer of a mat for like extra protection, right? Because again, if you think about it, you're putting all the pressure on your knee, so make sure you've got strong padding and protection so you can make these gains pain free. You know what I'm saying? So, with that said, um, if you enjoyed this video, and you know you would like you know more support and structure with you know being able to you know build muscle at home like with certain exercises like this for the lower body and also the upper body right then obviously i do have three at home programs a beginner one and an intermediate one step by step which again you can check out first link in the description below and i will send it right to you just put in your first name your email address and again i'll send it straight to your inbox, right? So, I want to say if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give this video a cheeky thumbs up and comment down below. What I'd love to know is, you know, if you are giving this exercise a try at home, then of course, like, I'd love to know where you're doing the exercise, where you're improvising and using your best surroundings. If you do actually have a home gym and, you know, you are literally just doing a glute hand machine, obviously, like, comment that, I'd love to know. So again, this is an awesome damn exercise to grow your hamstrings with bodyweight training, right? So, yeah. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I think that's pretty much everything covered. Subscribe, share, peace out, keep moving forward. And that is Alfie barking in the background right now. I think because it's quarter to one, he wants his lunch. I'm about to get my lunch right after recording this and he's gonna get his lunch because he's getting quite impatient. So keep moving forward, my friend. Ciao.